Yes, all right. Welcome back to Kosi Media. My name is Kosi. How are you, the Manchester United fans? How are you, the Arsenal fans? How are you, the uh, City fans, the um, uh, Tottenham Hotspur fans, and you know everybody uh, who watches this show? It is very, very massive and very big. It's the Arsenal show, the London show, where we do um, Chelsea, Arsenal, and uh, you know Spurs. But mainly Arsenal because I'm, um, you know, I really follow more uh, of Arsenal than United than uh, the other clubs. Um, of course, uh, the other United show is uh, this show with um, uh, Manchester United news. Of course, uh, uh, you know this one. Uh, it is all red, but uh, Arsenal and uh, some blue with Chelsea. Um, you know, just like you know uh, how London. I uh, you know London is red. Um, I'm here to talk about uh, William. Um, uh, William to Arsenal. The two clubs are really. Um, not in good terms because uh, you know Chelsea was beaten by Arsenal in the final uh, FA Cup, but it seems that uh, you know they are going to be exp uh, exchanging a player. Um, Arsenal also linked to uh, players like Felipe Coutinho, uh, Thomas Partey updates, uh, Johnson Fernandez, and all the other transfer updates you would want to know and listen to right here on Kosi Media with me, Kosi. Let me get the party started. Subscribe, like, and share. Well, um, today morning, it has been something big. Uh, Fabrizio Romano uh, tweeted about it. AFTV tweeted about it. And um, I think uh, those are the biggest, you know, uh, I would say uh, AFTV is the biggest Arsenal influencer, if, 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 if I'm not mistaken. He has a bigger YouTube channel than even, you know, than almost, you know, bigger than that of, you know, the Arsenal club. Uh, what was the tweet? William Deal done. Arsenal said to announce William this week. Now it seems that um, uh, Chelsea were, you know, were trying so much to get um, William to sign a new deal at, at, at Chelsea, but they couldn't, you know, reach the demands the player had because he's 31. He was. I, I, I'm surprised. I, I, you know, I, I was on Twitter and someone uh, really wrote something like you know, that he's 36, and I was shocked. But he's 31. He was born in uh, 1988. Um, he's Brazilian, of course, and um, he's a magician. Um, you know, I've been seeing this, you know, all along, you know, William is going to sign for Arsenal, blah, 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 and, and I thought it was a rumor. But this week, much, uh, actually, um, Arsenal could actually announce um, the arrival of uh, William from Chelsea on a free transfer. Uh, Chelsea have failed to agree a deal with, um, with, with a player. He wants three years, um, or, 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 or a contract that is worth three years. And um, Chelsea were offering him, I think, one and a half or two years. Uh, and he said uh, he's not uh, going to actually, you know, settle for that. Um, actually, they, uh, he, he had to have, he had to have, um, he had to have um, some talks with Chelsea yesterday, but um, he turned them down and uh, decided not to uh, listen to what Chelsea have to say. So it's going to be a national player this week. Um, that is according to the latest latest news uh coming in from all arsenal and ghana sources so arsenal fans you should start celebrating uh well i think it is something big um one of the transfer gurus uh, I, I i follow so much fabrizio romano uh tweeted about it and in most cases when you know romano you know says something it is going to happen trust me he has not tweeted about thomas party and i don't know if you're you know if, if arsenal is going to bring in thomas party but what i know is when he says that Arsenal is going to bring in William, they are going to sign him. Uh, just like the you know the Jadon Sancho story you guys are seeing on 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 United. You know he has never you know said anything uh, you know until of late. I think he has made two tweets or three now. You know in the past twelve hours. You know something's really you know about to happen. He never makes you know makes those you know. Uh, you know mistakes and that's why he's um, you know the most credible transfer journalist so um william to arsenal done deal uh, 150k a week that is what we are going to give him uh as arsenal of course a, a player coming in uh, on a free deal i uh, he you know he has to get the money uh if if sid kolasna gets 100k what, what how about uh william i think um he's going to add a lot of creativity to arsenal um especially when you have players like pepe and abameyang um, I think it's going to really add a lot of creativity. You know, I, I just feel it and I think um, Arsenal are making the right move to sign William. So, uh, 31, uh, 31 years of age, I think, uh, you know, he can play for the next two seasons when he's 30, uh, 32, 33. 
uh, like the Ruben Neves and the, you know and the rest, and then you know he can actually uh, rest uh, when he has when he's thirty four. But I think uh, he's he's a good player. Uh, he has been in the Champions League, uh, Champions League, Premier League, played in the Europa League. I think he can add a lot of experience at Arsenal, especially going forward. Uh, the only problem is that uh, the, the, the players like Bukayo Saka and um, uh, Gabriel Martinelli are, are, you know, are not going to get enough playing time. You know, when you have players like William and Pepe and ba Bameyang and Lacazette. But you know, it's better you have a lot of quality as you groom the young guns than actually having um, you know the young guns to you know step in for every wall, uh, which would be a mistake. So. Uh, guys, congratulations. Um, for me, I would say congratulations because Fabri uh, Fabriz uh, Fabrizio Romano said we are going to sign the man himself, uh, 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 William. Um, second deal is um, uh, Pierre Eberic Abameyang, uh, captain at Arsenal. He could be on his way uh, to sign another contract that would see him get 300 bucks a week. 300 bucks a week. That's big money. That's really big money for uh, for Aubameyang, and I think um, if Arsenal can really table this contract, because um, we have already tabled the contract for Aubameyang, and uh, the only problem is that uh, he has not come out to um, sign it, he has not come out to pen it down and say that um, you know, guys, I've accepted, I'm going to stay. But at least what we know, or what I know, is that we have you know put a contract, and uh, according to sources, the contract is worth three hundred bucks a week. That's big man, and I don't think he's going to turn, you know he's going to turn it down. Um, of recent, uh, we you know we were you know linked with um, uh, or he was linked with a move abroad, but uh, Mikel Arteta said certainly he's sure and confident the player will sign. And of course, uh, every Arsenal uh, you know a uh, fan would want um Aubameyang to stay at Arsenal, and uh, all of us would want to see Aubameyang stay at Arsenal. Lastly, uh, Felipe Coutinho. Um, I, I, well, I don't know what's you know going on with the Felipe Coutinho deal. It's like the Thomas Party deal. Today we have you know a boost. Tomorrow it is off. Uh, you know, the next day it is a boost, and tomorrow it is off. Of course, um, uh, Raul Sanelli uh, is a friend to um, uh, is, is a friend to to the agent of Felipe Coutinho, and uh, Barcelona were more than willing to give us you know Felipe Coutinho if we could meet half wages, um, halfway the wages, uh, they pay half and we pay half uh, on a loan deal for the season. But, you know, it seems that uh, every day, you know, the, the deal changes. I don't know what's really going on, but uh, still I can say Arsenal are still favourites to sign um, uh, Felipe Coutinho. They are still favourites. Like I said, they are still favourites. They, uh, they have not signed him, but they are still favourites uh, to sign Felipe Coutinho. The player wants to come back to the Premier League. He doesn't want to come uh, to Arsenal in particular, but uh, Mikel Arteta has told uh, his bosses that he wants the player, so um, we could be waiting to see what could actually come out of there. The last two deals that uh, we have been talking about is um, maybe what I can tell you, William Saliba is uh, fully training with Arsenal, so uh, it is a big update. Um, Jolson Fernandez, it, su it seems he's going to be uh, you know, signing another contract at Lisbon. Um, we went there with 13 million uh, because it was a contract treble, but uh, it seems um, you know, his agent, who's the, who happens to be the same agent as um, Felipe Coutinho, uh, this time you know, never you know, worked out things uh, in our favour. And maybe um, Thomas Partey, we have to prepare another bid because uh, the first two bids we took to um, Aleko Madrid, uh, they were bounced. So uh, if, if Arsenal is going to bring in Thomas Partey, then we just have to just wake up one day and uh, you know take another fresh bid. But still, we need Thomas Partey as one of our very, very close transfer targets. My name is Kosi, and I'll come back later with more transfer news. I sign out.